from the Voice of America, VOA Radiogram. I'm Kim Andrew Elliott in Washington. This is VOA Radiogram, an experimental radio program for people who experiment with radio. Today we will experiment with digital text modes transmitted on the analog amplitude modulated shortwave broadcast signal that you are listening to right now. Using software, you can decode the tones, turning them into text on your PC display. But if you don't have the software on your PC or can't get it loaded before this half-hour program is over, that's not a problem. Just record this program now using a cassette or digital audio recorder. Later, when you have the decoding software loaded and working on your PC, you can decode the tones from your recording. Why are we experimenting with text modes? For sure, the easiest way to transmit text these days is via the Internet. The Internet is wonderful, but it can be disrupted by natural disasters, conflict, dictators, or cyber criminals. If this happens, the venerable medium of shortwave radio can be used to send text and even pictures and web pages across national boundaries and over long distances. You probably have already heard digital text modes on your shortwave radio. That's radio teletype, also known as RTTY or RIDI. It's one of the oldest and most common digital modes popular among radio amateurs and still in use by some professional organizations. In the realm of amateur radio, digital signals are sent using a transmission system called single sideband. A receiver capable of single sideband or SSB is needed to pick up and decode these digital signals. On this VOA radiogram program, we will transmit the various text modes used by radio amateurs. But we will be transmitting right on the standard amplitude modulated broadcast signal. For that reason, you won't need a fancy, expensive shortwave radio with sideband capability. An inexpensive portable shortwave radio will do. To decode the digital content we will transmit, you will need to patch audio from the earphone jack of your radio to the microphone input of a personal computer. If you don't have a patch cord, placing the speaker of your radio next to the built-in microphone of your laptop PC might work, and it's certainly worth a try. And to decode the text transmissions, you will need software. Much of this software designed for amateur radio users is freeware or shareware. One such program is FLDigi, that's F-L-D-I-G-I. It's available from W1HKJ.com, that's whiskey one henry Hilo, juliet.com from that website please also download and install fl message flmsg and flamp flamp in future weeks we will use these programs in conjunction with fl digi you can also do a web search for other software programs that decode these amateur radio text modes they include digital master 780 Mix W and Multi PSK. The VOA Radiogram email address is radiogram at voanews.com. That's radiogram at voanews.com. The website is voaradiogram.net. There you can find the VOA Radiogram schedule and information about digital text modes. The URL again is voaradiogram.net. All right, let's proceed with some text transmissions. The first mode will be PSK-31. More precisely, the mode is BPSK-31 for Binary Phase Shift Keying. The 31 is for 31 baud, B-A-U-D, which is a measure of data speed. BPSK-31 is very popular with radio amateurs. Tune your shortwave radio to 14070 kHz during the day and much of the night and you will hear several radio amateurs transmitting BPSK-31. On your software, you will see what is called a waterfall representing audio frequencies up to 3,000 Hz. This BPSK-31 signal will be centered on 2,000 Hz on that waterfall. The speed is slow, 50 words per minute, so I will...